So I'm going to assume that you already seen the full length videos on these knives, but if not, definitely check them out if you're interested in any of these, because this is the top 10 knives that I've checked out this month. The ones that have stood out above the rest. This is the new Civivi Sendi. And man, oh man, this is an unfailable flipping action. It is so so crispy and snappy. It has a spade point blade and nitro V steel that gets down very slicey, G10 handle, steel liners, and then it comes with a toothpick and a pair of tweezers, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I'm not gonna say a gimmick, but you know, I think we've been putting tweezers and uh, toothpicks inside knives for a while now, so it's nothing new, but it definitely is something that can come in handy. So yeah, the new Civivi Sendi. Next is the new Real Steel G5 Metamorph. Now, I've always loved the Metamorph, and by the way, there is a liner lock from flipping version. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna try to get another one. This just brought back all the reasons why I loved the Metamorph. I can't believe I even got rid of it. Um, but because I absolutely loved it. 14C 28M blade steel, very slicey, extremely, extremely useful blade shape. I can't express that enough. This is a very useful knife, but now it's on a button lock instead of a liner lock. Now the one that is on a liner lock has good access to the liner. It has aluminum scales. It, it, it's really, really good. Now, and for the price, man, it is really good. Now this one is in G10, so it's a bit more grippier. Um, not that the aluminum ones were slippery or anything because it did have micro milling, but instead of a front flipper, it has the thumb stud, which is super snappy, um, very grippy thumb stud, very um, smooth opening and closing action, deep carry clip. It does have a lanyard pin back here. And yeah, it's just a super solid little user. And to me, this is a knife that is like a no brainer when you get it in hand and you actually use it, you realize like, yeah, man, that thing, that's a useful little knife. The Monterey Bay, or the Monterey Bay Knives Mini Old Guard, and this is the G10 one. There is premium versions of this, and there also is a larger version of this and a premium version of that version. Um, good access to the lock bar, very smooth on its phosphor bronze washer action. So if you're into phosphor bronze washer action, this is definitely a good one. And it has a beautiful, beautiful clip point blade. This straight clip point is so, so useful. This is perfectly straight. So it allows the tip to get very low center with the pivot. So as far as poking into things, doing utility cuts, it's going to work great. And since it doesn't have a ton of belly, or a flipper tab, you can easily cut backwards and cut straps and things like that. Um, the thumb studs work really, really well. They're placed in a, in a great uh, spot. They're plenty far away from the G10 for you to get you know a nice snappy deployment. Very, very good ergonomics. This has <clears throat> G10 scales, steel liner lock with a deep carry clip. Not reversible though. The blade still is 14C28N. It has a beautiful satin finish. G10 scales comes in a couple different color options and then a deep carry wire clip. The next one is a USA made knife, the new Kershaw Bel Air. This one really stood out because obviously I've been screaming for Kershaw to come out with a manual knife for a long time, as far as a USA made, sorry, a USA made manual knife. And they finally did, and they knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. Um, I did do an edge retention test in the full review of this that you can go and check out. It's very ergonomic for such a thin, slim, lightweight knife. Nice, tough lockup. Mine is just an absolute vault. Um, I did change the Omega Springs, but it was a vault before I ever changed the Omega Springs. But now that I changed the Omega Springs, it definitely definitely got a snappier action and you can buy Omega Springs like you can buy them on Amazon knife dealers sell them so you know anybody can do that um, I did sharpen it a couple times and yeah man uh, the, the geometry is nice and thin this is a slicer that's what it is it is an absolute slicer and because of the lock mechanism being a tough lock it's something you can be a little bit tough on as far as EDC cutting purposes, I would say. Uh, but the blade geometry is not set up for tough use. You know, it, it's more of a slicer. So yeah, very, very cool. The Kershaw USA made Bel Air. 
The Kaiser Momo. Now this one's a new one, but it, you know, it stood out right away. The size, it's over nine inches. It's almost nine and a half inches. It has over a four inch blade. And this is like a chef blade. Uh, it's like a, a chef style blade shape. It is very, very useful. This is a blade shape that's been useful since the beginning of knives. And that's what's great about it. And it's nice to see something so large yet so, so useful. Very slicey. It has a high flat grind, gets down nice and thin behind the edge. Aluminum scales, 154 cm blade steel, liner lock action with a front flipper that works really, really well. It's a little bit far, but, but it's super, super snappy. Um, it does have a titanium milled pocket clip. And yeah, man, this is an absolute banger. Now the next two I'm gonna count as one because they both equally stood out to me. They have some similarities even though they are not the same. This one, man, listen to this. Very addicting sound. This one is the Cryptid, the Kaiser Cryptid in 154 cm worn cliff blade or sheep's foot blade, whatever you want to call it. it, has a lot of jimping running up the spine, great quality micarta scales running on a button lock action, and Kaiser usually does a really good job with their button locks. You can choke up, you can choke back, very comfortable ergonomics. Um, it's just a super useful light duty EDC knife, and that's what's great about it. It's going to be ambidextrous with the button lock, and it does have a reversible deep carry clip. The thumb studs are super easy to get to, it's very fidgety. This is a fidget toy for sure, but it's a very useful fidget toy. And then this is the task. Now the task is going to have better ergonomics than this one because you know, it's just, it's a little bit bigger, um, you know, just a little bit bigger in size, but still both of these are, are wonderful inside the hand. And this one has, again, it's a sheep's foot blade, has a little tiny, tiny bit of belly. It's almost perfectly straight, but that little tiny bit of belly does kind of allow you to get that edge down to the surface. Um, the crossbar lock, it's going to be a stronger locking system than the button lock overall. Um, and this one's also on 154 cm, very slicey. Like I said, very ergonomic, very fidgety. It uses the, um, what do they call it? The clutch lock. So you can adjust the Omega Springs if you want the detent to be stronger or lighter, which is very, very cool. But all in all, both of these, man, these, these are really good little users. And you know, Kaiser, man, Kaiser's just, you know, they're coming out swinging for 2024. Companies better watch out. The Herman Ovium V2. Now this one I'm throwing in as an extra because I do know it is out of a lot of people's price range and seeing as the price is so expensive, you know, it's kind of an of course. Of course this thing stood out. Now it has very snappy action, a really nice sound. Love the sound of Herman's, man. They're music to my ears. It has a beautiful M398 blade with this crazy black, I don't know what type of what type of finish you call it, but it's almost like, like concrete, but it's very smooth. Um, it does have really good geometry, nice and thin with a hand sharpened edge done with diamonds. It has a titanium handled knife with a titanium liner, titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer. And these are handmade in Poland. So this is a Polish custom knife and shout out to Polish custom knives. Definitely go and check them out. If you're interested in getting any sort of Polish made knives, regardless if it's fixed blades or folding knives or handmade knives like this one, check out the link that I'll put down in the description to Polish Custom Knives. Awesome, awesome company. And her, as far as the Hermans go, um, and you know, there are other models because they do have a fixed blade I'm testing right now from Polish Custom Knives. They, man, Herman's just knocking it out of the park, man. Um, I can't wait to get the next one. And these, one, these ones really excite me. Let's get to the next one. Now the next one is 
the Artisan Waden. Now the Artisan Waden, you know, this one, it's so simple because it's only a front flipper, but it looks cool. This to me has, somebody said it, it's like a Nesmuk blade shape. So shout out to the person who said that. It is like a Nesmuk blade shape. Look at that satin. This is almost a mirror satin. Like Lucas, I bet you you could see me. Yeah, look at that. It is very reflective. It has a little Timascus inlay, this crazy micro milling that offers you a lot of uh, tactile ness <laughs> whatever you want to call it it's very it's nice and deep they're nice and fine they feel good in the hand it offers a good amount of texture and the shape of this handle just nestles right into your hand and then coupled with this blade shape this is not only a good looking knife it's also a great little user now i do have my little negatives you know like i wish there was better lock bar access the front flipper could be a little bit taller but it does seem to work very, very well. Um, very, very slicey S90V blade. So, you know, I, I have yet to really test Artisan's S90V. I do have plenty of them, but as far as, you know, edge retention tests or anything like that. So, you know, maybe I should do a little test on their S90V and see how it is being done. Um, you do have some little jimping right there to kind of stop you from choking up. Um, but yeah, all in all, it is a pretty damn cool one for sure. Next is another USA made knife, the High Water Estuary, and this one is the E7. It has a somewhat sort of a, like some, it's kind of like a modified Tonto blade, this beautiful milling S35 blade steel, aluminum handles, some of the, the snappiest button lock action. I mean, this thing hammers out and it is rock, rock solid lockup. Very good ergonomics. Um, the clip, you know, it, it, the clip I could definitely do, I'd rather have a different clip to be honest, as far as visually, but as far as use goes, very, very useful, very comfortable in the hand. So, you know, if, if the clip only means usefulness to you as far as putting it in and out of the pocket, then this, this is a banger and the pocket clip's just fine. I personally think it takes away from the knife a little bit visually, but that doesn't stop this knife from being just just an awesome knife in general and having a ton of potential as far as what the company can achieve this being the first one i've tried from high water knives it makes me excited to see what they're going to be capable of in the future and you know i'm i'm excited to see it i'm excited to see their growth next is the up knife m Two. Now, I recently featured this in a video and I was wrong about a couple of the tools, so let's talk about it. But regardless, this thing has obviously stood out among the crowd. It is very unique. We have a 14C 28M blade, very, very slicey, very, very sharp. Heat treated 62 to 63 HRC uh, by Peter's Heat Treatment. We have a cap lifter, bottle opener, slash little pry tool, a saw blade on the back. Then you have, you know, um, these little wrench heads so, you know, you can take off off bolts and stuff and you have eight of them all together eight different sizes a wire cutter that actually works really well and this thing is so snappy with its spring now this little guy i was wrong about it's not technically a glass breaker now it'll probably work as a glass breaker but what it is it's a punch tool so you can set this on something and launch the spring like that so you just put it where you want it and then go like that bam and let that punch it and it will punch it so you have a little dot on say a piece of metal or something if you're trying to you know pinpoint a spot next the magnet is for the bit driver i should have called that i should have known that i'm an idiot but yeah it's for the bit driver um or it is a bit driver now you can also use it to hold stuff if you need that uh but it does have a deep carry clip uh, what else does it have? You know what? Let's just look really quick at all the things that it has. I know this says glass breaker, uh, but but it is a punch tool as far as uh, that part of it. But you can see all kinds of little tools on this guy, which does, you know, it does make it pretty damn useful. You know, obviously this isn't something you're going to use on the job site as your tool. This is an improvised tool. This is something you carry when you don't have your tool pouch on or you don't have whatever handy, you can easily use one of these tools to get by uh, and, and it is very cool we have 7075 t6 aluminum like i said 14c 28 m blade steel and it is pretty damn cool in my opinion 
So this one I've had in the pocket since I opened it up. Um, no, I haven't had it very long, but it is absolutely one of my favorite knives. Now I'm not saying it's my favorite knife of all time, but if I was gonna make a list of my top 20, top 30 knives, it would probably be on that list. It is that good. I love the profile of it. I love the look of it. I love the geometry. I love the blade shape. I love the ergonomics. I love the size. Um, I love the cutting performance. You know, I, I just love basically everything about it. I absolutely love. I think this is a very attractive knife. You know, when I look at this, it just looks like a super useful tool to me. And it is, and it is. And it's done extremely well. Not only is the design great, but Giant Mouse executed this thing perfectly fantastic detent amazing amazing action they did such a good job so yeah the giant mouse ace biblio xl the large version of the biblio biblio definitely stood out to me this month and then last the oao the one and only this is the we knife co one and only a tasha baruka design this thing definitely stood out. It has an incredibly smooth action. It is just glassy as all get out. I mean, like you feel no, at least on mine, I feel no bearings rolling or anything. You'd almost think like, you know, if I didn't know any better, you would think this thing was like on washers or something, just like the most hydraulic smooth washers you could ever imagine. Uh, but very comfortable, very snappy flipper tab, 20 CV, clip point blade, beautiful hand set and finish. It comes in four or five different versions. So there is different color options. In the full video, I showed how these scales work because they're they're inset into an integral. So this is all one solid piece of titanium with the um, the carbon fiber held in with the clip screw, basically. Um, titanium liner, steel lock bar insert, absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it, it's very ergonomic. It, it's useful and. You know, Tashi Baruka did a really good job on this design, and We Knife Co. did a great job executing it. Obviously, I like it because it's in this video, but this is definitely something that could be special in somebody's knife collection. It's not going to be super affordable. This is a premium, premium knife um, that is also an integral and very, very well done. So... Yeah, like I said, I do have full length videos on everything from this um, from this video that you can find. You can either just scroll back to my most recent, depending on when you're watching this, or just type in Neves Knives and then the name of the knife, and it should pop up in the algorithm. So work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.